What's up everyone, this is Tony with Journey Crypto. In today's video, I wanna talk about some very bullish news for Ripple XRP. And this is the possibility of Ripple burning 50 billion XRP, basically everything they have in escrow that they have released on a monthly basis. So we are gonna get into that as well as more info on the Spark airdrop coming for XRP holders. So I will get into more detail as well as some other really bullish stuff for Ripple and XRP. Before we get started, please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, hit the bell to be notified when I make new crypto videos. I'm gonna be doing a lot of XRP content that's gonna be coming up here in the upcoming days also please comment below i do read all the comments and i will try to reply to all the comments as well So with the recent news of Ripple possibly burning that 50 billion XRP they have in escrow, the price of XRP is up 12% on the 24 hour, which is now up the most out of the top 10 cryptos. Next to Cardano ADA is also up 10%. Both huge projects I definitely see uh, could see being top performers in 2021. But um, even in the short term, I definitely think XRP is going to be hitting a dollar, possibly even a dollar fifty in the upcoming couple weeks. That will also depend how Bitcoin, Ethereum, and uh, the crypto space does as a whole. But I definitely think that's coming for XRP. And the primary reason is the fact that uh, the Ripple CTO has said majority vote would force the burning of billions in XRP. And of, of course, the majority vote is going to want them to burn this. So Ripple, the company, also has ipos launching soon which is initial public offering they're basically going to be offering stock which is ownership in the ripple company so they're going to be getting a lot of money from that as well they're also having money coming in uh, from their software now as well their uh, technology they're using for banks they're getting paid uh, from that stuff as well so they don't need to be cashing out as much xrp anymore i really don't think they need that xrp to thrive so i think that's going to happen in the near future the possibility of them burning pretty much half of their total supply is just insane um, similarly um, stellar xlm did this as well which is their main competitor so stellar xlm is also up 10 percent right now it does seem that ripple xrp and stellar xlm pretty much follow each other in uh, profits and gains so um a while back they did burn a massive percent of their total supply as well of xlm and the co-founder of ripple is actually one of the founders of stellar xlm uh, jed mccaleb and he still has a ton of xrp that he's been cashing out and he did sign a contract to only be able to sell a small amount of that xrp per day but it is millions in xrp so um, i do think it's a better move doing this massive coin burn um during a bull market rather than uh when stellar xlm did it basically in a bear market because this is going to get a lot of uh, major news and a lot of people are going to hear about this uh while cryptocurrencies are heating up and everything's bullish i think that's going to bring a lot more investors to xrp than it would have for xlm stellar so it is a good move in my opinion to burn these tokens while the market is so bullish i think that would be a great start for xrp into the next uh, bull market so someone did tweet to david schwartz asking about this if um, the majority wanted to burn these coins if they could uh, david schwartz actually responded and he said yes there would be nothing ripple could do to stop that from happening Public blockchains are very democratic. If the majority wants a rules change, there is nothing the, uh, the minority can do to stop them. Uh, Ripple's XRP sales have been declining after Ripple stopped selling tokens to exchanges. The escrow account held approximately 48.9 billion tokens at the start of 2020. So there is that massive amount of XRP still that um, it does sound like most of the community wants to burn this. Uh, which would be extremely bullish but it would take that funding away from ripple um, but i really don't think ripple needs it at this point they're an established cryptocurrency they have hundreds of major partnerships which they are earning money from for cross-border payments and their software um, and technology that they offer so just from their products i think they have enough revenue now uh, but of course that revenue does help them get more partnerships and everything it has helped them achieve what they have in this period of time so if they do that i think that could really be the catalyst that sets xrp off if they burn half the total supply in a bull market 
and then uh, this airdrop coming up and if there's some big partnerships or some other big major news which there always is for xrp that could definitely push this to new all-time highs um, with Bitcoin hitting around 25 to 30,000, I definitely think XRP could be over $3 at that point. And I do see that happening in the upcoming couple months. Could be by the end of 2020. Um, it's going to depend on many factors. So some other major news, this article came out earlier today. XRP price, will the Flare Network airdrop of Spark token trigger a rally to $1? And I definitely think that's very possible. That's not far off. And especially with that news of the token burning, that's pretty huge. And this airdrop is going to be on December 12th. And I do believe this is a one for one airdrop. Every XRP you're holding, you're going to get, uh, going to get one Spark token um, as an airdrop. And Binance did announce support for this. If you are, are holding XRP in Binance, you will get that uh, Spark airdrop in your Binance account. Um, but if you guys want a full list on wallets and exchanges that will support this, uh, just Google it. Check the Flare Network website as well. So uh, this on top of this other news, I definitely think that's pretty bullish, um, especially if we start seeing Bitcoin going up soon as well, which Bitcoin is holding that 19,000. And uh, another tweet today that's extremely bullish, MicroStrategy has purchased 2,500 Bitcoin for $50 million in cash. Um, and they paid $19,427 per Bitcoin. They now hold 40,824 Bitcoins. So um, I do think stuff like this is going to be pushing Bitcoin up, which will also help all coins and just bring a lot more money into the crypto space in general. A lot more retail investors are finally getting in as well. So something else that could be very bullish for Ripple XRP is the possibility of getting listed on PayPal. So PayPal did launch cryptocurrencies. They launched with four cryptos, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and Bitcoin Cash. And these other uh, two cryptocurrencies are lower market cap than XRP. So I just think it's a regulatory issue for XRP. And once that's cleared up, PayPal will add XRP. And that would be a huge launch week. I think that would be very bullish. I do think uh, PayPal coin listings are going to have a much bigger pump than we saw with coinbase listings uh, which previously people would buy a coinbase listing and then dump it when it's listed so similarly i think xrp will have a huge pump getting listed on paypal which could happen over the next year as well uh, we really have no idea but i do think paypal will be working to add more and more cryptocurrencies over the next year and they are getting in as much as possible. Uh, the CEO of PayPal said the time is now for crypto. So he's huge. He's all in on crypto, basically. Um, they're allowing merchants to accept and uh, use Bitcoin and Ethereum as payments in early 2021, which is bullish for the entire crypto space as well. So this is pretty huge news here if Ripple does burn this. This has been a huge problem for many investors in the crypto space is the fact uh, Ripple, the company, has so much majority of the XRP that they're just dumping on the markets. Um, Crypto Bitlord on Twitter brought up a huge thing about this saying XRP Ripple was a scam because um, the company owns the majority of XRP. But it is locked in escrow. They only get $1 billion a month um, that they can sell and they haven't even been selling that from what I've heard. So they have listened to the community and um, they have cut back on that. I really don't think they need this at all though, so um, I think it would be great if they burned this. They're doing an initial public offering soon as well, uh, launching stocks for the Ripple company. They're uh, bringing in tons of money through their uh, technology and softwares with banks for cross-border payments. So I really think uh, this is a possibility here, burning um, half the total supply of XRP. If they did this, this would be breaking news. I really think this could push uh, the price of XRP over $3 once it happens. Um, if it did randomly happen like that, I think that would be extremely bullish. So over the next year, I definitely see XRP doing great overall. Um, actually, while I've been making this video, it has gone up another percent, 11.5% now, 62 cents. Bitcoin's doing pretty decent as well. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. Do you think it's a great idea for Ripple to burn this 48 billion XRP or do you think they should keep it for uh, funding or do you think they should just burn part of this? Uh, let me know in the comments below. I am interested to hear what you guys have to say. 
So I do think the price of XRP will be hitting this dollar leading up to December 12th for the Spark token airdrop. Um, that will create demand for XRP, especially with the word of this major burning going around. Uh, that's gonna create more demand uh, with more, uh, more and more XRP being taken off the markets and out of circulation. Uh, while demand is increasing, I definitely see the price hitting $1 because of that basic supply and demand there. So that's huge. Um, I definitely think the price of XRP is going to be doing great. Um, I think this is a uh, $1 mark is very possible for XRP by the end of the year, possibly even 150, depending if more news about uh, this major token burning happening. So uh, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys found it useful. Please subscribe to the channel. I am trying to hit 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Um, I do think we can make that. Um, so I do appreciate your guys' help. Share the video, like the video, comment below. It all helps the channel grow. I will be doing more videos on XRP in the upcoming few days as well. I'm gonna be talking about uh, my XRP exit strategy about as well as how many XRP you should own to be a millionaire. So again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.